This is the coast of Namibia in southwestern Africa, uh, the very dry desert coast of the Namib Desert. You can see a cloud band uh, butting up against the shore and some straight sand dunes in the lower left of the picture. Yeah, those are big red sand dunes that the astronauts say is one of the most beautiful sights that you can get when you're flying. Coming into the view on the left is, a, is an impact crater uh, right in the middle of the picture right about now and some wind streaks. We know where this area is because it's a bit unique. We've got a, a major dune field coming into the picture on the left there. The uh, Oriental uh, Sand Sea as it's called in French and on the top is the Isawan Sand Sea. This is the island of Sicily uh, with cloud over Mount Etna, so you can't quite tell that there's a big volcano in the middle of the picture right now. And there's the toe of the boot of Italy coming into the picture from the left. See a good example of sun glint on the right with the sea reflecting the sun. This is the smooth east coast of uh, the Kamchatka Peninsula again. As you move inland, it gets maybe even more striking as a picture because of all the volcanoes on this peninsula and the, uh, the snowy mountains. There's a volcano just coming into the picture on the top left there. You can see a little knob-shaped feature. Here is a smaller finger of land in China sticking into the Pacific Ocean. In winter, you can see all the snow lower left. This is called the Tsingtao Peninsula, we recognize it. And again, the sun glint point moving along the coast, upper center. Uh, in a very clear picture, Zagros Mountains with snow on them in Iran, the country of, in the country of Iran. Here we have the north coast of Australia and Carpen, the Gulf of Carpentaria and some islands. Uh, the biggest island at the bottom of the screen there is Groot Island, which means the big island in Dutch. When you see a, a huge, powerful feature like this, the astronauts do shoot them a lot. And we have had some detailed views looking right down the eye looking at the eye wall, in fact, and even looking, even I seem to remember, uh, views of um, breaking waves on the sea surface at the bottom of the eye. Amazing detail. Look at this neat picture of um, Great Salt Lake in Utah. And the, uh, the variation in color? Is that's, that's due to an, an almost complete blockage of the circulation of the lake by a trestle for a railroad that crosses from one side to the other. Stops the circulation and things get saltier and a little bit, uh, yes, certainly saltier at the north end of the lake. Here you see two circles coming into the top of the view now. Uh, these are either volcanoes or, or um, effects from inside the Earth producing circular features. Uh, we think this is the Big Bend area of uh, uh, Texas. This is a, an interesting sideways view of the uh, peninsula of Florida with the keys stretching out into the lowest part of the picture there and the shallow seas around the Bahama Islands, top right. And Cuba coming into the picture, lower right. And this, I believe, is the coast of 
uh, northern Chile in South America. It's a very straight coast, except for that strange headland out to the top right just disappearing. And so the desert is this uh, the first part of the inland zone. And then you see much blacker at the top of the picture uh, the Andes Mountains with some many dozens of volcanoes. And here is a thunderhead. Uh, the typical look of the thunderheads, big rainstorms that develop over the Amazon basin. And another one coming in top right. Here's an obviously a major river. And there's an even bigger one coming into the picture on the right. That looks to me like the, it could well be the Amazon River with one of its big tributaries on the left. And the flow would seem to be from the bottom of the picture to the top.